ಜ್ಞಾನಂಜನಾಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುಲ್ಮಿಲ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಪಿಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾಮ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗನಾ ರಘುನಾಥ ವಿತ್ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಾಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಗನಾ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಕೋಪೇಶ ಕೋಪಿ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ಋಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಚಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೂಭೈವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dhanwat Pranam, please accept our humble obeisances on behalf of everybody who have joined the group and are about to join. Prabhu Ji, we are reading the Srimad Bhagavatam. We are on Canto 2, Chapter 4 and the text for today is text 19. Prabhu Ji, how would you like us to proceed? Would you like us to read the text or we hand over to you, Prabhu Ji? Yes, yes, Mata Ji, you can read this text. Okay, Indula Lekha Mataji, kindly read the text. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, dear devotees, can you accept my humble obeisances? All good to Shula Prabhupada. Can you hear me properly? Yes? Yes, Mataji. Okay, thank you, thank you. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Mukham Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langaya Te Gurum Yat Kripa Tamaham Vande Shri Guru Dina Taranam Paramananda Madhavam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Ishwaram Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narotamam Tehim Saraswati Vyasam Tajo Jayamudhirayud ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ ಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತೆ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉಚ್ಚೋಕೇರ್ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟಿಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮತಾಜಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಸೆಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೈಷ ಆತ್ಮಾತ್ಮವತಾಮಧೀಶ್ವರ ತ್ರಯೋಧರ್ಮಯ ತಪೋಮಯ ಗತ ವ್ಯಾಖೇರಜಶಂಕರಾಧಿಧೀರ್ ವಿಖ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಲಿಂಗೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಪ್ರಸೀದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ವರ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಸಹ ಹಿ ಏಷ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದ ಸುಖ ಸೋಲ್ ಆತ್ಮವತಾಮ of the self realized souls adishwara the supreme lord trayamaya personified vedas dharmamaya personified religious scripture tapamaya personified austerity gata vyalikai by those who are above all pretension aja brahma ji shankara adi bhi by lord shiva and others vita 
Vidyarthya Linga, the one who is observed with awe and veneration, Bhagavan, the personality of Godhead, Prashidatam, be kind towards me. Translation, he is a super soul and the supreme lord of all self-realized souls. He is a personified of the Vedas, religious scriptures and authorities. He is worshipped by Lord Brahma and Shiva and all, and all those who are transcendental to all pretensions. Being so revered with awe and, and veneration, may that supreme absolute be pleased with me. Purport. The Supreme Lord, the Personality of Godhead, although the Lord of all followers of different paths of self-realization, is knowable only by those who are above all pretensions. Everyone is searching for eternal peace and eternal life, and with an aim to this destination, everyone is either studying the Ved Vedic scriptures or other religious scriptures, or undergoing severe austerity as empiric philosophers, as mystic yogis or as unalloyed devotees, etc. But the Supreme Lord is perfectly realized only by the devotees because they are above all pretension. Those who are on the path of self-realization are generally classified as karmis, jnanis, yogis, or devotees of the Lord. The karmis who are much attracted by fruitive activities of the Vedic rituals are called bhukti kami or those who desire material enjoyment. The jnanis who try to become one with the Supreme by mental speculation are called mukti kami, or those who desire liberation from material existence. The mystic yogis who practice different types of authorities for attainment of eight kinds of material perfection, and who ultimately meet the super soul, paramatma, in trance, are called siddhi kami. Or those who desire the perfection of becoming finer than the finest, becoming heavier than the heaviest, getting everything desired, having control over everyone, creating everything like, etc. All these are, all these are abilities of a power yogi, but the devotees of the Lord do not want anything like that for self-satisfaction. They, they want only to serve the Lord because the Lord is great, and as living entities, they are eternally subordinate part and parcel of the Lord. This perfect realization of the self by the devotee helps him to become desireless, to desire nothing for his personal self, and thus the devotees are called nishkarmi, without desire. A living entity by his constitutional position cannot void of all, all desires. The bhukti kami, mukti kami, and siddhi kami all desire something for personal satisfaction, but the nishkama devotee of the Lord desire everything for the satisfaction of the Lord. They are completely dependent on the orders of the Lord and are always ready to discharge the duty for the satisfaction of the Lord. In the beginning, Arjuna placed himself as one of those who desire self-satisfaction, for he desired not to fight in the battle of Kurukshetra, but to make him desireless, the Lord Priest of Bhagavad Gita, in which the ways of Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Hatha Yoga, and also Bhakti Yoga were explained. Because Arjuna was without any pretension, he changed his decision and satisfied the Lord by agreeing to fight. And thus he became desireless. The examples of Brahma and Lord Shiva are specifically cited here because Brahma, Brahma Ji and Lord Shiva, Srimati Lakshmi, Lakshmi Ji, and the four Kumaras, Tanaka, Sanatana, etc., are leaders of the four desireless Vaishnava Sampradayas. They are all freed from all pretension. Sri Jiva Goswami interprets the word Gata, Vya Rikhe, as Prohijita Kaitavya, for those who are freed from all pretension, the unalloyed devotees only. In Chaitanya Chaitam Vita Madhya Lila, 19.149, it is said, Krishna Bhakta Nishkama Ata Eva Sandha Bhakti Mukti Siddhi Kami Sakali Asanda. Those who are after fruity results for their pious activities, those who desire salvation and identity with the Supreme, and those who desire material perfection of mystic power are all restless because they want something for themselves. But the devotee is completely peaceful because he has no demand for himself and is always ready to serve the desire of the Lord. The conclusion is, therefore, 
that the load is for everyone because no one can achieve the results of his respective desires without his sanction. But as stated by the, by the Lord in Bhagavad Gita 8.9, as such, all such results are awarded by him only. For the Lord is Adishwara, the original controller of everyone, namely the Vedantists, the great Karma Kandiyas, the great religious leaders, the great performers of austerity, and all who are striving for spiritual advancement. But ultimately, he is realized by the pretend, pretensionless devotees only. Therefore, special stress is given to the devotional service of the Lord by Srila Shukadev Goswami. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you for, for uh, reading the verse in the purport, translation of the purport. Om Agnana Timiranda said Nana Anjana Shalakya Chakshuran Munitamina Tashmay Shri Gurve Namaha. Hare Krishna. So, uh, continuing on the, the study of the Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, fourth chapter, and then today's verse is 19. So, Shukadeva Goswami is praying uh, to, to Lord Krishna on his uh, wonderful qualities, and then he's explaining uh, to Parikshit Maharaj the wonderful qualities of super soul. And then he's seeking blessings uh, from the super soul. He's seeking from blessing from the Paramatma. He's seeking blessing from the, the Supreme Lord. So uh, in this uh, uh, translation, he's the super soul and the Supreme Lord of all self-realized souls. He is the personification of Vedas, religious scriptures and austerities. He is worshipped by Lord Brahma and Shiva and all those who are transcendent to all pretensions. Being so revered with awe and veneration, may that supreme absolute be pleased with me. So, Prabhupada keeps on quoting uh, one uh, verse, Akama Sarva Kama Se Moksha Kama Udharate. So, uh, Krishna only grants Akama. Akama means one who is desireless. Akama Sarva Kama Se. So, that means one may be full of desires. And then Moksha Kama uh, means uh, one who is uh, wanting liberation. So all types of people, if they approach uh, Krishna, then he is the he is the ultimate giver of all the desires. So also Prabhupada has mentioned the uh, different type of kamis uh, in the in the purport very nicely is explained. Bhukti kamis, you know, mukti kamis, and uh, you know, uh, the one who is after uh, you know uh, yogic powers and one who is after material enjoyment, one who is after after. Uh, you know, uh, grana. So, as uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita also, uh, chat Chaturvita Bhajante Bam, uh, Ye Sakrutin Arjuna, Jana Sakrutin Arjuna. That means four type of people come to uh, come to me. Artho Artharti Nani uh, Am Jignas. That means uh, Artho, one who is want of uh, desires, you know, one who is want of economic development, Artharti. And then uh, Dani, uh, one who is want of knowledge. And then Jignasu, so that means uh, one who is inquisitive. So these four people always come to Krishna because they are they are in uh, uh, they are in want of something, and then they want to get something from Krishna. So it is it is a welcome that Krishna is, uh, says in saying in the Bhagavad Gita that any type of uh, any type of desire, if you go to Krishna, what he will do? He will purify your desires. If you if you go to any demigod. Let's say if you are going to demigod and then you are asking uh, for some kind of material benefit, what demigod does, of course, with the with the with the permission of uh, the supreme lord, he will move the karma from back and front. So he will put the karma back from from the the, the good karma from the future generations to here, and he will put the bad karma, bad effects of karma from here to there. So that is the that is the the power demigods have. But Krishna is not like that. Krishna will ensure that. Our ultimate interest is protected because it is like a is like a father. Father example is a, a relative comes to the house and a parent is there. So relative thinks that oh uh, let me uh, there is a small child in the house. Let me take a chocolate. Uh, let me give a chocolate to this person and the child uh, child will be very happy. So but uh, parent knows even if he can buy the chocolate, he knows how harmful is the chocolate and then when to give the chocolate, how much to give the chocolate. That parent can decide. So Krishna is like that parent, how to give, how much to give happiness or distress or 
how much to uh, enjoyment that uh, a jiva can take so that you know it will be in the ultimate interest of the jiva because ultimate interest of the jiva is to go back to home back to god it suppose we are uh, we are praying to uh, different demi gods dhanam dehi uh, you know uh, dehi dehi so we we are asking so many durga mata is specially you know in the navratri is said to be prayed of uh, different powers you know uh, you know give me wealth give me strength give me power give me where give me uh, fame so all those things we are praying so but uh, all these things uh, if even if we got so it is not permanent it's not going to stay forever and also it's going to uh, if it is going to be ultimately uh, you know uh, it's it's not if it's not good for your uh, you know eternal spiritual upliftment what is that goodness for it's like a child uh, you know is like a relative who is coming and giving a chocolate and then the 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 relative does not know how harmful is the chocolate for the child so the father supreme father knows the health of the child he knows the supreme interest of the child and he will make sure that he will get good food but and then he will restrict what to give and what not to give so krishna is that like supreme father who knows what to give how to give when to give so then then he knows our supreme interest the supreme lord person of god and although the lord of all followers of different paths of religion is noble only by those who are above all pretensions so krishna also says uh, uh, <clears throat> that naham tishtanti vai kunte yoginam hrudaveshu va yad gatra yad gayanti mad bhakta tat tat trishtami narada that means uh, i am not staying in the uh, in the heart of the yogis naham tishtanti Uh, you know i am not staying in the heart of the yogis i am i am not uh, there he, uh, anywhere else i am there where my bhaktas are you know glorifying me so glorifying my past times glorifying my names so i am there so he he is there in uh, in in those places everyone is searching for eternal peace and for eternal life and with a an aim to this destination everyone is neither studying the either studying the vedic scriptures or other religious scriptures or undergoing severe austerity as empiric philosophers as mystic yogis and unalloyed devotees so each person is uh, uh, endeavoring something every human being according to his own capacity is endeavoring something and also uh, not only his material desires is also endeavoring for something higher purpose human human life is for higher purpose of life it's not like uh, to live like a, a life of an animal eating sleeping mating defending it's uh, it's also uh, you know uh, animals also undertake so what is the difference between us and uh, uh, animal it, we are we should be at least on the level of inquisitiveness oh why i'm going somewhere why i'm coming somewhere why my relatives are passing away and then where they are going and then uh, what is my destination what is my true nature because is it all that you know i'm i'm here for some time and i'm born here i'm uh, having family life and then i'm going away so where i'm going so that is these are the uh, questions atato brahma jignasa that means uh, brahma jignasa that means who am i who am i is the question uh, that we everyone us us has to ask that what what is my real nature the human body is just an external covering Uh, in the bhagavad gita krishna says dehino spin yata dehe kaumara vyamnam jara tata dehantara prapti dhirastran mukyate that means uh, like the the body is changing from childhood to boyhood boyhood to uh, adult and adult to old age similarly at the end of life we change bodies so when we change bodies adhira that means uh, one who is sober person is not affected by that kind of a change he knows that you know we are eternal we are eternal part and parcel of krishna and then this body is uh, changing his body is, it has to come to an end it doesn't uh, you know like the scientist uh, promising okay one day we will find a pill that you will never become old one day we will find a pill that you will not die one day uh, we will go to the higher planets and then we will settle there so these are all things that you know scientists are uh, giving false hopes as propa said uh, it is better to have uh, 10 10 rupees 10 10 shillings in the hand rather than somebody says i will give you 1 million dollar dollars after one year so it is you know it is a promise it's a, it's a false promise so it is better to have uh, what what he can give now so similarly these are all false promises and then we should not be bewildered by that 
but the supreme lord is perfectly realized only by the devotees because they are all above pretensions so pretensions means uh, we are having some kind of uh, desires so we we all uh, uh, we cannot be desireless actually desire is the natural tendency of the soul because desire is uh, is a natural tendency because it is from the spiritual world but what we have to desire you know that 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 we are not understanding we have to desire for the desire we have to align our desires to the desire of the supreme lord so rishikesha if master of senses is uh, happy all all of our senses will be happy just like uh, the example of durasamuni durasamuni once goes to uh, a pandavas camp and they were in the forest and then uh, he wanted to, to be served by draupadi and pandavas but uh, you know uh, draupadi will be having an akshay patra and then akshay patra he will give food only for one time in a day and then uh, at that time durasamuni wants to come and taste and then Uh, you know he wants to curse uh, the pandavas so but uh, you know being a devotee draupadi called for krishna that krishna please hey keshava hey madhava please help so krishna appears and then checks the pot and then asks uh, to ask her to bring the pot and then he finds a small grain of rice in that uh, in that uh, pot and then he eats it and then he says oh, i am so full today he says i am so full today that means uh, if he is satisfied everyone else in, else in the uh, you know everyone else is satisfied so all the uh, uh, you know uh, durasamuni and then his disciples become very much satisfied and then they think that if, if i go to draupadi again uh, we will be fed and then we have to eat no we cannot go and then they'll go away so this is the satisfaction we we need to desire that you know to uh, to satisfy, satisfy the desire of the lord But the supreme lord is perfectly realized only by the devotees because they are all above pretensions those who are on the path of self realization are generally classified as karmis gnanis yogis or devotees of the lord the karmis who are much affected by the fruitive activities of the vedic rituals so karmis are what they are doing so in the vedas in the vedic rituals so they are said you know do this puja do that puja you will be benefiting this you will be doing this you give uh, tarpana to the pitrus so uh, all these things are there in the vedas it's it's not it's not bad to follow it but these are all uh, you know vedic injunctions to follow to get uh, material benefits so they are all affected by that and uh, are called as bhukti kamis so that means bhukti means they want to bhokta that means they want to enjoy or those who desire material enjoyment the gnanis who try to become one with the supreme lord by mental speculation are called mukti kamis so that means they are desiring of uh, some kind of uh, liberation who de- who those who desire liberation from material existence so they want to contemplate on the knowledge and then they want to get out of this material existence and then uh, have some kind of a, a, a liberation the mystic yogis who practice different types of austerities for attainment of eight kinds of material perfection and who ultimately meet super soul paramatma in trance are called siddhi kamis so these are yogis basically mystic yogis they want to uh, you know have some mystic powers just like vishwamitra vishwamitra was a mystic yogi rajarshi and then he uh, he had lot of uh, mystic powers and then he could create another material world you know he, he created a, a temporary a heavenly planet for uh, for a person called uh, trishanku so he created because he wanted to uh, go with this sharira to the sargaloka and then he said okay i will send you then if we then after he went then uh, sargaloka people they refused to take him then he said okay if you are refusing i will also create another uh, you know heavenly planet so this kind of mystic yogis are also there but uh, you know that mystic yogi uh, vishwamitra could not sustain the attraction of a woman when uh, menaka uh, vishwamitra was attracted by menaka so then indra you know got uh, you know scared of uh, vishwamitra that he becomes the next indra so he sent menaka and then to build a rim and then uh, he fell down so uh, the mystic yogis who practice different types of austerities for attainment in the eight kinds okay uh, are called siddhi kamis are those who desire the perfection of becoming finer than the finest becoming heavier than the he- heaviest getting everything desired having control over everyone creating everything liked etc 
so these are all uh, you know um, uh, yogic uh, mystic powers for which uh, you know in this present age uh, no no one can achieve that kind of uh, uh, you know yogic practice you know the, you have to do severe austerities you have to practice uh, severe uh, mystic uh, practices then only you can be perfect yoga uh, in in yogic trance but uh, these are all not heard of now but the devotees of the lord do not want anything like that for self satisfaction they want only to serve the lord because the lord is great and then living entities they are eternally subordinate parts and parts of the lord so devotees are in perfect understanding who they are and then what is uh, the relation between them and the supreme lord and then uh, you know they know very well that if the desire of the lord is uh satisfied then we will be automatically satisfied and then the desire of the lord becomes their prime goal so like uh, prabhupada uh, was uh, very uh, you know in the sense uh, fixed upon serving his guru so he went with a mission so when uh, his guru told that you know you go and preach in the west he did not know much and then he spent a lot of time in vrindavan and he he started writing in english and then he spent uh, earlier days before he came to the us he, he spent a lot of time in india you know trying to practice this trying to practice this uh, uh, you know preaching a uh, movement trying to spread the pre preaching movement but he was not successful in in india and then he came to the us with with birth, i mean almost practically penniless and then he came uh, in a in a, a cargo ship it was uh, it was a very tough uh, uh, period and then he he was already old he was it's not that he was young he was he was 70 years old and then he started this movement uh, with only one goal that he wanted to serve his spiritual master he wanted to carry forward the orders of his spiritual master so for that uh, for that purpose he came to the us and then he also uh, he has written a prayer that uh, krishna you want me to dance you, you make me dance you make you want me to do this you he, he, he even it is written in the uh, uh, lila amruta that when he when he landed in the us he did not know whether to turn left or turn right so he was so much uh, in in the sense that uh, he is humble he is being humble that you know he was so dependent on krishna's supreme will and in his guru maharaj uh, he had his only uh, his guru maharaj uh, uh, words that you know i have to carry forward but he didn't know but he, he had the conviction conviction that you know he has to service the spiritual master so then krishna uh, uh, helped him so much you know uh, propat said to his uh, disciples that you are all goloka vasis you look you are all vrindavan vasis sent by krishna to me to help me so it it is because you know in the west at that time propat went uh, it was a real real uh, you know hippie culture even they were uh, you know uh, breaking all the four regular regulated principles uh, and then he targeted those people who are in need of some kind of uh, happiness which other people were not experiencing they wanted some kind of other happiness so he targeted that audience and then slowly and slowly but surely this movement got into uh, a bigger uh, a bigger uh, scale and then it became a worldwide organization uh, so they want to serve only the lord because the lord is great as and as living entities they are eternally subordinate parts and parts of the lord this perfect realization of the self by the devotee helps him to become desireless to desire nothing for his personal self and thus the devotees are called niskami without any desire so without any desire means it's not that you know you become desireless and then you you don't eat you don't sleep you don't have family you don't have uh, you know any activities you just go in the forest and stand in the uh one stand on one leg and then meditate no you have to dovetail all your desires to krishna's desires like the uh, propa says that you know you there's a very thin line of difference between the karmis and the the bhaktas the karmis are doing the same activities as the bhaktas doing karmis are eating uh, the bhaktas are also eating uh, karmis are having family uh, devotees are also having family karmis are uh, you know doing the same uh, you know they are going to the factory and working and also i mean devotees are going to the factory and working but what is the difference the difference is the devotee does not think himself to be the owner of whatever he is doing the doesn't think himself to be the enjoyer of the, the whatever activities he is doing 
he thinks that i am a servant of the lord and then i have to serve whatever i'm doing i have to serve my family i have to serve the the place where i'm staying i have to I have to serve the the nation where i'm staying whatever much possible service i have to do but i have to do service thinking that i am the eternal servant of the lord so actually propath quotes one verse that uh, you don't become a king you don't become a father you don't become a mother you don't become a guru unless you are able to take the souls away from the birth the cycle of birth and death if you are unable to take this please do not become uh, take up these roles of king the the spiritual master the father mother you should not go into this because otherwise you are just producing children like the animals animals also produce children for sense gratification and then they get children so you also produce children for sense gratification so what is the difference between us and the the animals so a living entity by its constitutional position cannot be void of all all desires the bhukti kami mukti kami and the siddhi kami are desire something for personal satisfaction but the nishkami devotees of the lord desire everything for satisfaction of the lord they are completely dependent on the orders of the lord and are always ready to discharge their duty for the satisfaction of the lord so in this uh, 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 concept gopis gopis are you know they were they were serving krishna without any motivation they are the highest a uh, level of uh, you know devotion towards krishna so once uh, uh, there is a past time that you know krishna says oh i have a, i have a small headache so narada in front of narada he will be saying uh, he'll be sitting uh, very morose and then he'll be uh, putting his hand on, on his uh, head and then pressing it so narada asks uh, krishna what has happened so uh, my head is aching so your head is aching what sh- what should i do should i should i you know massage it and then should i do something for it no 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 uh, i need i need the the lo- i mean lotus dust of my devotees if you bring my lo- if you bring the lotus dust of my devotees my headache will be gone so he will first go to uh, you know pandavas he will go to uh, uh, other devotees and then he goes to many people but you know they refuse oh uh, please you know excuse us because see, if we, if we, if krishna is asking our lotus uh, i mean i mean if krishna is asking for dust of our feet then we'll be going to hell we cannot give that you know our it's a, it's a great aparadha to give our uh, our uh, dust on the feet to to be put on krishna's head it's not possible you know we cannot give then ultimately he will go to the the gopis in vrindavan in vrindavan when gopis were asked that you know krishna is feeling the headache and then uh, we want uh, uh, your dust from your feet then the what they did they went on the banks of yamuna and then they walked all over the banks of yamuna that's what we put as tilak gopi chandana gopi chandana is nothing but all the gopis made the marks on the banks of yamuna and then made this dust to be given to krishna oh if it helps krishna to relieve his headache so we are we are ready to go even go to the hell if it means that you know it it uh, relieves the headache of krishna it, it we can we are ready to go to the hell so that is the the nishkamis that means uh, they are not they are completely desireless and then they are, they want krishna satisfaction as their prime goal like uh, kunti baharani also has the prayer that you know he she she thinks that i mean she prays that uh, please give me more trouble because you know when i'm happy when i'm when, I'm, when we are uh, in the in the kingdom when we are in the in the palaces we, we are all uh, you know not thinking about you maybe we are uh, you know materially very well off but we are not thinking of you but when we are in trouble always we can expect you to come and help us so that means when we are in trouble we are always thinking of you when we are thinking of you we are associating with you we are helping us so that is the the best thing what can happen to me so please give me more trouble so who who can uh, who can uh, desire like that only a devotee can desire like that and then devotees also become fearless of uh, of all the material conditions like prahlad maharaj Uh, his father was torturing him in like anything you know he wanted to kill him in many ways he tolerated all those uh, you know uh, atrocities on him because he was he was a krishna bhakta and then uh, hirada kashu was enemy of the enemy of lord hari so he wanted uh, to kill prahlad maharaj in many ways but he tolerated he tolerated so much you know 
if we are hurt in the hand for some some uh, small thing so we'll be so much uh, you know uh, in pain and then we'll be saying oh no no let's let, let's keep away from krishna i'm happy i don't want to take any trouble but look at pralad maharaj he was able to take any kind of uh, you know uh, uh, in difficulty that means he was thrown from the cliff he was uh, bitten by snakes he was given poison uh, and uh, he was uh, left in the in the in the amidst the mad elephants so nothing you know nothing uh, you know deviated him they are completely dependent on the orders of the lord and are always ready to discharge their duty for the satisfaction of the lord in the beginning arjuna placed himself as one of those who desire self satisfaction for he desire not to fight in the battle of kurukshetra in the bhagavad in the in the beginning of bhagavad gita when uh, krishna starts to go in front uh, arjuna is saying lot of uh, you know morality morality talks and then say says okay you know they are my uh, you know grandfather they are he is my guru he is my they are my cousins they are my uh, uncles you know this war is nothing but it will not bring any peace it will kill everybody it will uh, you know uh, it make so many widows and then so many people will be so he'll give so many logics that you know he should not fight but when krishna preached him that this this uh, war is in inevitable this is a war of uh, you know making uh, that we i have decided because when krishna decides it will be good for the entire society so krishna did not want uh, the kauravas to rule the world and krishna wanted pandavas to rule the world and then Duryodhana and Kauravas, especially Duryodhana, did not want to share any of his wealth, and then she did not wanted to share the kingdom. That's why this war had to happen, and then Krishna wanted all the Kauravas to be killed. So Krishna had already killed them because uh, you know he showed the Vishwarupa, and then everybody was killed. So it was only Nimitta Mata Bhava Sarve Shashi. That means you become an instrument of my desire. because we are also have to become an instrument because actually uh, uh, panchal prabhu was saying that you know uh, i think who uh, kesha maharaj when he was in the ashram that uh, somebody told no 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 you have to you have to you have to come to the ashram and you have to join and this is uh, this is nice and you are uh, so he was feeling he was feeling pride that okay i have to oh my i am i am being important then i have to come and join and then they are asking me so much then one other devotee told if you are there or not there in this moment this moment will go on this moment will not stop for anybody if you are there part of this organization then you will benefit so this moment will not stop for anybody it's like that you know krishna has desired that this will this organization will grow so none of us are uh, you know we have to become a small instrument like uh, the squirrel what uh, the squirrel helped uh, lord rama to carry small small stone and then make the bridge doesn't mean that lama uh, rama did not know how to make the bridge and cross over but he knew he he wanted to take the service of everybody he want to take the service of monkeys he want to take the service of animals he want to take the service of he he was in the in the in the very simplest of the avatars and then he wanted to show rama i mean ravana that you know i will take help of these uh, animals and then i will kill you and then uh, you know in, on the on the path of uh, uh, you know righteousness so in the beginning but no but to make him desireless the lord preached the bhagavad gita in which the the ways of karma yoga gnana yoga hatha yoga and also bhakti yoga were explained because arjuna was without any pretension he changed his decision uh, and satisfied the lord by decide, agreeing to fight so in the end krishna also gave a, a, an option that you know you can do yate yate chesi tata karu that means whatever you desire i have given you all the knowledge what is what what is what i have given you the entire knowledge what is what but you now desire you know i mean decide what to do whether to fight or to go back is that's why krishna is telling that independence he will not come to touch our independence independence is our uh, you know eternal right independence is not uh, going to be touched by krishna only thing if we are intelligent if we are at all intelligent to to uh, to be you utilize our human form of life you have to utilize in the service of krishna the example of examples of brahma and lord shiva are especially cited here because brahma ji lord shiva shrimati lakshmi and the four kumaras sanaka sanatana etc are the leader of four desireless vaishnava sampradayas so vaishnava sampradayas and what are those vaishnava sampradayas 
ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ರುದ್ರ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕುಮಾರ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಆರ್ ದೇ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ರಿಟೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಥರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸಪ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಹಾವ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ so that is the only goal of these all these four sampradayas that means they are all authenticated sampradayas shri jeeva goswami interprets the word gata vaila vyalikai as projita kaitava or those who are freed from the pretensions anola devotees only in the chaitan chaitanya charitamrita it is said krishna bhakta nishkama ata eva shanta mukti mukti siddha siddhi kami sakali shanta so only bhaktas are shanta those who are after fruitive results for their pious activities those who desire salvation and identity uh, with the supreme lord are those who desire material perfections of mystic power are all restless ashanta that means they are all they are all always perturbed always disturbed that means uh, they want something they want something from krishna they are not they are never satisfied but uh, only nishkami bhakta that means desireless krishna bhakta he is always peaceful brahma bhuta prasannatma na shochati na kankshati that means sir but when you are in the platform of spiritual realization and the highest part platform of spiritual realization is to be- become brahma bhuta prasannatma that means you are all i mean uh, already happy on the prasannatma platform na shochati na kankshati that means <coughs> you are not uh, uh lamenting for any loss of anything in the past or you are not desire of anything in the future na shoshati na kankshati so this is the stage that uh, uh, they are all uh, uh they are all very peaceful because they want some but the devotee is completely peaceful because he has no demand for himself and he is always ready to serve the desire of the lord so this is another other example that uh, uh, ambrish maharaja was such a devotee that he was he used all his senses in the service of the lord and then when dura samuni again wanted to test him so what happened the sudarshan chakra from the heart of ambrish maharaja came and then wanted wanted to kill dura dura samuni and then dura samuni went to brahma loka went to uh, uh, you know kailasa and wanted the help from uh, brahma vishnu uh, vishnu also said i cannot help because it is come from a devotee my devotee my only my my devotee only can save you so again dura samuni came back to amrish maharaj and then surrendered to amrish maharaja when he surrendered amrish maharaja was so uh, you know uh, humble so humble and then he said uh, may, may please uh, this was and chakra be uh, uh, satisfied and go back to its place so likewise so even the all the desires and the, all the you know material uh, qualities what we are talking about to control kama krodha lobha moha madha matsarya these are all the qualities which we uh, harbor in us the kama you know krodha that means uh, anger lust greed you know we want more and more we want more and more we are we are from time immemorial we are harnessing these qualities and then all these qualities are coming again and again again and again for us so to subdue these all these bad qualities and then to make this all these qualities purified we have to become uh, pure bhaktas we have to become pure devotees how to become pure devotees hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare this is the only way for this kaliyuga this is the only way hare nama hare nama hare nama eva kevalam that means this is the only method to purify our senses purify our all our desires purify our all our anarthas so when anarthas are purified so we will be able to see ourselves cheto darpana marjanam bhava maha davagni nirvarpanam is like chaitanya mahaprabhu has said in the shikshashtakam that means our heart is like a mirror which is covered by the dust of uh, our lust our anger our greed all the anarthas are there from time immemorial so we are all 
harboring all these anarthas in our heart and then this anarthas can be cleaned only by the holy name holy name of the lord and then the name is also uh, its name is all not alone when we are discussing krishna katha when, when we are discussing uh, uh, the de devotees uh, act devotional activities of the devotees along with krishna so these are all purifying so so when we when we practice like this we become desireless and then our desire uh, tends to uh, merge with the desire of the lord so in this way but the devotee is completely peaceful because he has no demand for himself and is always ready to serve the desire of the lord the conclusion is therefore that the lord is for everyone because no one can achieve the result of his respective desires without his sanction so without his sanction even the the so called other uh, you know uh, people they are also they have to depend on the mercy of the lord if the the mercy of the lord is not there like like they say even the blade of grass is not able to uh, move without the sanction of the lord so why to why to endeavor so much you know against the will of the lord so why not uh, gel our all our desires to the the will of the lord wish of the lord so that you know our our desires will become purified and then we go back to home back to god and the conclusion is therefore that the lord is for everyone because no one can achieve the result of his respective desires without his sanction but as stated in the, in the by the lord in the bhagavad gita 8.9 all such results are awarded by him only for the lord is adishwara the original controller of everyone namely the vedantis the great karma, karma kandiyas the great religious leaders the great performers of austerity and all who are striving for spiritual advancements so, so in the bhagavad gita 15.15 sarva sacha ham hridi sanni vishto matta smriti gnanam apahunam cha so that means from krishna it is coming he is giving the intelligence he is giving remembrance he is giving forgetfulness and he is saying am the am the veda sarvashasham pradishan vishnu matta smriti gnanam apohanam cha vedeshcha sarve ahameva vedyam so vedanta krit vedavit eva chaham so that means i am the veda so i give the remembrance i give the intelligence i give the forgetfulness so if everything is coming from him why not you know uh, surrender unto him why not serve him why not become his devotee and then will be eternally happy eternally blissful eternally uh, knowledgeable satchidananda vigraha we can be, we have that uh, eternal right to become uh, uh, happy so but uh, in this material world we cannot be eternally happy we can be temporarily happy for some time but that is also illusory happiness so in this way we can be uh, spiritually situated but ultimately he is the real he is realized by pretentionless devotees only therefore special stress is given to the devotional service of the lord by shila shukadeva goswami so devotional service what we are doing what propad has started this movement for only devotional activity is created such a organization that devotion only is given prime importance nothing else so even he has said that if uh, if we are not able to preach we can even close the temple and then going preach so preaching has given so much importance that you know this movement uh, will have to spread throughout the world and to get the benefit because here lot of information is there lot of uh, knowledge is there and then the purity is there the purity of uh, information is there uh, so every every and then the method is so simple everyone and everyone can come come here and then take benefit of this simple process of uh, krishna consciousness uh, therefore the special stress is given for devotional service of the lord by shri shukadev goswami so this this is a nice verse and then uh, um, stressing the the points of uh, uh, devotional activity and then to become desireless how to become desireless you know is uh, is the practice a lifelong practice because it's very easy to say it's very easy to uh, give a class but uh, to to practice that personally to become desireless is a lifelong activity uh, uh, hare krishna if uh, any questions comments hare krishna thank you hare krishna prabhu ji thank you so much for this excellent class today and 
thank you for rising up to the occasion. I just told you yesterday and then you had to prepare for this class. So thank you very much uh, for preparing in such a short notice. Um, uh, and you have uh, clarified so many points in this uh, uh, purport. Are there any questions or comments from the group? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, thank you so much. Nice class, nice explanation. Um, you know, uh, the Trishanku, I think he's still in the middle of, in the air. He, he cannot come down in the material world. He cannot go up in the, in the higher planetary system. They said he's still hanging somewhere in the air. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard because of the mystic power of Vishwamitra. So he, he's showing that mystic power cannot help us. And also, uh, when you said about um, Narad Muni getting the, the um, uh, dust from the lotus feet of the gopis, um, you know, one of the queens, like Satya Bhama, she, she was very proud to be the wife of Lord Krishna. So uh, Lord Krishna wanted to test who is his best uh, uh, well like who, who loved him more. So then uh, Narad Muni went there and then he, he asked everyone, he asked all these queens, 16,108 wives, nobody wanted to give. They said, we don't want to go to hell. We don't want, but they were seeing for themselves. Nobody was seeing for what Krishna wants. They were seeing for themselves. So then the gopis said, if you have to go to hell, that's fine. Because Narad Muni said, are you going to give? They said, yes. So they walk on the, on the bank of the Jamuna, and then they got all, they fill a big, they put the chunni on the ground, they fill it, and then they said, and Aramini was saying, I wanted only a little, little bit so much, and they say, yes, you take it, we never know when Krishna may have got a pain, so you take it. And then, that showed all these queens, that who, uh, why Krishna is after the gopis so much, why sometimes in the middle of Nana, Krishna used to cry for the gopis. So they wanted to know why, so they got the answer. Plus, now they know that the gopis are higher than them. It doesn't matter the gopis are living in Krishna or not, but the gopis are higher than them. Thank you very much, Prabhuji, for bringing this point again in this, uh, in this nice talk. Um, as Mataji said, you, you got very little time, but you are great. You managed to do it. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I always uh, remember Prabhupada saying that, you know, devotee should be ready to give class at any time. Even, uh, I mean, he has said that, you know, devotee should be prepared in such a way that uh, he should be ready to give class. So, and then yeah. whatever uh, whatever comes out through the mouth is the will of Krishna. Because, you know, we are ultimately uh, on the will of Krishna and then whatever comes to us, okay, we can prepare whatever we can, but ultimately yeah. it is he who, uh, I mean, gives oh, yeah, us... Yeah. Uh, he, he the things yes yes there's a knowledge you know most of the time you know when i'm just in the class in in the chat in uk i'm just put on the spot and this is sorry to put you on the spot that it's okay i can if i can deliver few words um, pertaining to krishna that's fine that's fine yes that's very good thank you Prabhupada. thank you much Hare krishna. Hare krishna any other questions or comments I'd like to even welcome Ananda Vardhanam Prabhu. He's been attending the class since a week and we haven't welcomed him again to the groups. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. We are cognizant Haribol. of the Haribol. Haribol, Haribol. We are Hare Krishna, of... Prabhuji. Thank you for joining. Please do join every day and we would like to see you as well. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Sorry, because of the time constraint, I haven't been able to join, but uh, I've been trying to join lately. So, yeah, Hare Krishna. We appreciate your presence. It encourages us. So, thank you very much. Even if you don't speak, we won't ask you any questions, but just be there. Uh, <laughs> we feel very happy when you are there. So, I know it is five o'clock in, in UK in the evening and... Um, it might not be very uh, conducive and you really make an effort. So we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, if there are no more questions or comments, we have almost exhausted our time. Uh, yes, Ur Urmila Mataji, do you, do you have anything to say? No, nothing to say. Okay. Do you want to thank Prabhuji for his class today, Urmila Mataji? I like his class. 
I know you are his greatest fan. So like all of us. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, uh, Mataji, for that encouragement. I'm sure Ayagovind Prabhu has taken note of that. And when um, all of you are coming to London, do come to visit me. Yes, we'll sure, come Mataji. as a group. We'll all come as a group to see you, Mataji. Thank you for joining in. Um, okay, then we can probably end this session. Anand Vardhana Prabhu, are you able to end this session today for us since you are there? Are you able to or you are in middle of work? I'm working at the moment, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, fine, not a problem. Maybe I Hare can. Krishna. Hare Krishna. I can end the session. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Prabhuji, for this excellent class. Let us all unmute and chant the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra in glorification of our ego and Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णवीन की जय शिला प्रभुपाद की जय Arya Govind Prabhu ki jai Hare Krishna thank you Prabhu thank you Hare Krishna thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you everyone